Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cut here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about my first initial character, my first creation, my playmaking shot creator. So if you guys don't know, if you're not in tune with my My Career series, I made a playmaking shot creator when the game came out and this was the only build that I needed. I have created a big since then just to supplement my rec and pro-am teams, but this build has finally reached 99 overall, man. So today we're gonna be doing an attribute update, my moves update, we're gonna go hit the my court for a little bit, check out the moves and everything like that, check out my jump shot, things of that nature. If you're one of those people that are still looking for a jump shot, dribble moves, looking to figure out what type of player you wanna make at guard, this might be the video for you just simply because I'll be giving you guys all the information for my build. Now, uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, I was arguing with YouTube on Twitter, um, literally like YouTube creators. They told me to tell you guys that in order to see my videos, you have to not only subscribe, you have to tap the notification bell to make sure that it looks like it's ringing, as well as you have to go to the settings on your iPhone or Galaxy or whatever phone you got and turn on notifications for the YouTube app itself. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'm hoping that it works because I love seeing Nodi Gang inside the chat early on when my videos drop. But if you don't feel like you've been seeing my videos lately, this may be a big option for you, but let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, y'all, so first and foremost, just to let you guys know, I am a 99. I've played 57 games into my career. I feel like I am still gonna go for Gym Rat. Right now I'm at All-Star Weekend. If you guys missed my three-point contest or Rising Stars video, make sure you guys go check that out there in the pinned uh, card above. But let's go ahead and go into the player. Now, um, a lot of people told me like, all you gotta do is win a championship, go ahead and get that Gym Rat. As soon as I'm done with the All-Star game, I'm going to sim all the way to the playoffs go through the playoffs, upload maybe one or two videos from you uh, from the playoffs each round, and then I'll go ahead and get gym right after that and that achievement. But as far as 99 goes, I got from 95 overall to 99 overall, all online. I did not cheat and go through my career and you know do all that jazz, I didn't do that. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know that you can do that. And that's one of those options that you have. Like if you feel like you're not an online player and you don't really care about repping up online, you could go for 99 overall at the park. I mean, I'm sorry, in my career and stuff like that. But uh, let's go ahead and go to progression first. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna let you guys look at this. Um, you guys see my mom points are maxed out. Fans only have 1.3 million. Uh, 74 uh, teammate chemistry, which means I can't get team takeover. I really don't care much for my team. I just care about getting fans and endorsements. Um, all of my badges are maxed out, uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. So, um, on Twitter, I had uploaded a tweet from somebody that sent me a video. Basically, dude had an 83 driving dunk, and he was able to get pro contact dunks. Now, I'm not sure if that's game breaking or not, because sometimes I'm not sure if those actual uh, contact dunks will trigger. But for this player, um, I have a 92 speed. I'll let you guys look at that you know 92 speed i have 96 acceleration 75 vertical and 99 stamina my driving layup is at an 80. if i go down in overall at all while playing online my driving layup will no longer be 80 and i will lose one of the packages that i'm going to show you in a second but basically this is all my stats i feel like this player right here is premier this player is insane um, also, the crazy thing is, it looks like I can actually put up a few more bars here. Um, see where it says uh, 91, 92, 94, like it's a little grayed out, like I could put up another stat. So there may be something more to my player. Look, pass accuracy is at 92, but it looks like there's another bar there. Now, a lot of people told me that what you have to do is after you reach 99 overall, you have to play one My Career game and then all those last stat attributes will then pop up. So that means that I should be getting a 91 mid range, I mean a 92 mid range, a 93 three, and a 95 free throw, a 92 pass, ac I mean 93 pass accuracy, and a 94 ball handle. All right, now my defense, nothing is gonna go up there. Also, I'm supposed to, it looks like I'm supposed to get a 90 close shot. All right, so I'm guessing that's if I play an actual game. 
as far as badges go this is where everything gets the most tedious i've seen a bunch of badge videos but sometimes you have to get the badges that work mostly for you so the badges that work for me right now uh one is showtime and one is contact finisher so i play somewhat like a slasher in the open court and sometimes when i have an open lane if i pull back on the trigger most of the time it's a reverse dunk that is somewhat unblockable if i'm not going up against somebody that is like a premier defender most of the time i can get this off with contact finisher and showtime is actually just to boost my team's takeover meter i'm all about my team this year because i feel like if you don't have badges that supplement your team you're a very very selfish player all right um as far as shooting badges go these badges are the most cheese badges in the game simply because if you're playing threes or even wreck like bro th these badges are insane dog twos they're cool but for twos i would take off uh goal i mean hall of fame quick uh catch and shoot and i will put difficult shots up just because i would have to be able to hit shots around screens um you really don't need catch and shoot in twos because most of the time if the uh big gets the rebound and passes it back to you maybe about 70 percent of the time you're open but not like 80 to 90 percent of the time you're open so catch and shoot really won't matter all right um for these badges like i told you guys i'm all about helping out everybody else if I were a selfish player, I would have Space Creator on Hall of Fame. I would have Tight Handles on Hall of Fame. I would have Unpluckable maybe on Bronze maybe. I would take Floor General and Dimer off. I, so I would have Gold Space Creator, Gold Tight Handles, and maybe Silver Unpluckable if I was a, a selfish player. But to me, I feel like Unpluckable really doesn't work like that anyway because I get ripped a whole lot but the supplemental badges for me is floor general hall of fame where i get to see shot per shot percentages of all of my teammates no matter where they are on the floor if they have the ball or not um dimer helps everybody else out handles for days helps me dribble around to see if i can get people involved i can take handle for days off and put it on flashy passer now flashy passer hall of fame is one of those badges that is insane you can flashy pass it to a teammate if that teammate hits a moving shot or whatever the case may be take over immediately it's an insane badge like bro look at this gives an additional boost to takeover meter after completing an assist with a flashy pass that's crazy bro major key so handles for days honestly i'm gonna go ahead and, and put that on flashy pass because i really don't dribble like that anyway now let me go ahead and confirm that as far as my defensive badges a lot of people have different uh speculations about these badges me honestly i feel like this badge right here trapper is one of those badges that get people i mean immediately bump stole immediately like oh my god i gotta i gotta oh uh, i gotta pass the ball trapper is insane on silver just for now but a lot of people go with pig dodger because a lot of people play twos a lot of people play threes so essentially you're playing threes but somebody's in the corner and really you're playing twos uh some people go pickpocket because stealing is just so cheesy this year they'll buy steal boost and they'll have a uh, pickpocket on silver or gold some people say intimidator but for my build my arm wingspan is very very short so i'm not gonna get those intimidators to pop up almost every single play all right some people go with interceptor like i said my wingspan is very very low so it don't matter to me lightning reflexes is pretty okay but if you're not a premier defender already you really don't need lightning reflexes because most of the time even if you're re and reacting you ain't gonna get there so i go with trapper solely because trapper just look when trapping offensive players defenders are more effective i mean yeah effective at forcing pickups and turnovers than normal this badge is cheese i ju just know that you heard it here first all right all right now since the badges are done skill boost i do rock with skill boost um whenever i go into spin the wheel sometimes I'll, i get skill boost like maybe 80 percent of the time but um i haven't gotten any ball bat, pass and ball handling joints in a minute and i haven't spun the wheel in a minute so i gotta go spin the wheel we'll probably do that in this video as well um, my player appearance i know you guys want to check out my animation so let's go ahead and hop into that now uh before we do this i want to tell y'all i will never tell you my jump shot 
I'm not even gonna go inside of there and, and show you what my animation looks like so that you guys can go in and decipher and look at every single base the whole entire time to figure out what the base is and figure out what my uppers are. I'm not gonna do it. Chase Money told me not to tell you guys. You guys can go ahead and kill Chase on Twitter and tell him why he don't want you guys to know, but it is what it is. My free throw is Michael Jordan. My dribble pull up is Athletic 5. It's one of the best moving shots in the game as far as like green window goes. Um, A lot of this information is from 2K Labs. Chase, he got the premium subscription. I just go ahead and live off his, his subscription, you feel me? Uh, but that has a good green window. Um, spin jumpers on normal. Don't really use spin jumpers too much. Hop jumpers, number 14 is cheese. If you're hop jumping from like, uh, if you're coming from the top of the key, left or right, hop jumper 14 is crazy. I'll show you guys what it looks like. That hop jumper is crazy. You know what I'm saying? That hop jumper, it, it pulls you back. It takes you away from the defender. The defender won't even know what's going on. You feel me? It's very good. Post phase don't use, post hooks don't use, post hop shots don't use, post shimmy phase don't use, post shimmy hooks I don't use. But when it comes to the dribbling, shifty, I like. I like the dribble style of shifty. Uh, I I was thinking about changing it, but I'm not gonna change it. Um, a lot of people use Allen Iverson just to get away from other people. Size up packages, everybody knows. Kobe Bryant size up package is the is the best. It's the most cheesiest. You feel me? Um, also, let's see. Uh, moving crossover Pro Two is fire. Everybody knows that Pro 2 is fire. If you don't have Pro 2, something wrong with you. Moving behind the back. I like number five, um, but a lot of people use Pro 3. Um, Pro 3 is like the um, I'm Davis type of uh, joint, and it helps you um, be able to combo more to those spin backs and all of that. But if you're not one of those people that do spin backs, you're just trying to get through the defense and stop and pop, Pro 5 is it. Moving spins. Normal one. Normal one is something that I recently put on. It's more of a tighter spin so that defenders won't be able to rip you off the hit. I used to use this. Now, you would think that this is tight, but honestly, this is more of that, like I said, I'm um, Davis dribbling, where you'd be able to get that spin back. That right there, that's a spin back. So if you have this one equipped, you'll be able to uh, do that more with the um, other moving behind the back. Moving hesitations. I used to have normal two. Normal two, I thought was fire. I thought moving two was fire. You just hesitate and be able to run right past the defense. But then somebody told me about Pro Eight. When it adds those jumps where you can actually create the pace, the space to shoot right there, that's fire. That's the one that I use the most. If I'm driving somewhere and I go ahead and do a moving hesitation, I move, hesitate, and stop. If the player's not near me, I'm pulling. If he drives like next to me. I do it behind the back and I'm out, <laughs> you feel me? So uh, normal uh, three is my triple threat. A lot of people say that um, there are fire triple threats out there, but I like normal three the most. Um, I used to have normal five, which got me real, real low. And I thought it was good, but honestly, in the triple threat position from here, players were able to rip me more and not get as many foul calls as normal three was. I feel like normal three is more of a protection type of threat and you can kind of like jab and then people will think that you're driving if you this low and you give them a jab step they like I, I can see the jab step more because the ball ain't really moving that much you feel me so that's how that one is um dunks and layups like i told you circus layup is the new layup that i got with my 80 overall uh layup uh rating now i'm not sure if this package will actually go down if i go to 98 because right now, like I told you guys, if I am at 99 and it looks like that I can get other things besides driving layup, I think I'll be able to keep Circus. I think I'll be able to keep it. In the beginning of the video, I was saying that I think it might get deleted, but I don't think so anymore. Um, Long Athlete was where I lived, but I'm going with Circus now solely because if you guys look at the way Long Athlete works, Long Athlete is not for people that do moving shots. When you think you're gonna do a moving shot, long athlete will take over and make you drive to that rack no matter what right there did you see where he took off where at that mp he took off at the mp most people would do a movement shot from there but long athlete sometimes triggers and make you do layups from that far out which is insane i mean it's pretty good that it lets you do that because some defenders would think it's a moving and wouldn't defend it but really you just go ahead and like get right past them 
But most of the time, I'd be like, he'd be like, yo, you shot that? Like, bro, I was going for a moving shot. You feel me? So Circus is my new joint. Uh, dunks, I keep it real simple, man. Quick drop-offs on one. You know what I'm saying? Something real quick. Things that don't get blocked as much. You feel me? And when I go to my highlights, I go to the reverses off one. These are the most unblockable because honestly you get put into some type of animation while you're like gliding through the air and it's really really hard for players to get a block on this man i don't know why but i love it all right um nba intros all that stuff i'm not worried about none of this stuff um except my park dunks is flight um flight i like when i'm on a fast break you know what i'm saying being able to do 360s in between the legs as a player that don't really have too much drive and dunk that's really cool for me and uh yeah that's all my standings so um as far as jump shots um i know a lot of people were probably mad when i said i'm not giving out my jump shot but i'm gonna give you guys a couple bases that are really really good so if you have quick drink quick draw on hall of fame this is not for anybody with quick draw lower than hall of fame okay if you have quick draw on hall of fame jump shot 11 is back okay I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there jump shot 11 is back all right now uh let's see base 38 is still here even though 2k lab said that 2k tweaked it or whatever the case may be they tweaked all jump shots they didn't just tweak 38 they tweaked everything across the board so a lot of people left this jump shot alone because they thought like oh it's broke you feel me um also jump shot 61 61 is a pretty high jump shot it's not that bad you know what i'm saying if you're one of those people that love high jump shots that's for you um base 49 from last year it's still here it's still here all right base 49 is still here uh one of my homies money uses that it's still here all right um let's see um okay so i can't get any of the let me see i'm looking for it i can't i can't get any of them all right so i was looking for uh amateur two and all that but uh, oh there we go hold up all right let's see all right so amateur two this jump shot is fast as hell if you're a person that feels like you can like literally time your jump shot perfectly every time try amateur two um i heard that ray allen got a little nerf but i feel like if you pick the right uppers this is still a good one because with quick draw hall of fame he's just gonna pull up like that with those little bow-legged knees so that's really a good one um, a lot of people sleep on Trey Burke. Trey Burke is another good base, but see that double, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you need quick draw on Hall of Fame to negate that regular gather, okay? But Trey Burke is still dope. Um, a lot of people been talking about Rudy Gay solely because it looks more like that MJ shot. Everybody remembers the MJ from uh, NBA 2K11. That's what Rudy Gay's remind me of today. Um, also another one that is good and this is last on the list Tony Parker I'm gonna tell you right now do not sleep on Tony Parker this is probably top three best base in the game right now all right top three okay do not sleep on this base now as far as uppers go that's all up to you. You got to figure out your uppers. You got to figure out your blending. That is solely on you. That is not on me. I'm sorry, but that's up to you. Now, before I get up out of here, I know that a lot of people are going to want to see my mob rep. I am an all-star two, 53% into all-star three. Um, I'm a person that plays online with my friends. I don't, I'm, I, I barely been playing with randoms that much. Well, I have been playing with randoms sometimes, but um, as far as the playground goes, I'm 118 and 22. I don't even have 100 more wins than I do losses. You feel me? At the wreck, I'm 67 and 13. I don't even have 100 more wins than I do losses. I should be 113 and 13. You feel me? 2K Pro Am. It got ugly over there. I ran. Um, to be honest, at 2K Pro Am. The camera angles, the the speed of the shots, everything, it just wasn't for me. It's for a lot of other players, but it's just not for me. And by the way, I'm 1-0 in the ante up. I'm, I think I'm going to keep that record like that forever. I'm 100% at the ante up. <laughs> but um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really don't have any other stats and stuff like that. Um, besides where I am inside of my career, I can go ahead and make changes to anything. I can make changes to the minutes. I can make changes to anybody's stuff. So look, I could take down Paul George minutes and put him on injured reserve if I wanted to. So I am at that point in my career where I can do that. Now, a lot of people that play my career may want this. Go ahead and go get it. But like I told you guys, I'm at the dunk contest right now. I'll be dropping the dunk contest video soon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your time here, man. So I'm gonna holla at you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like. The like goal is 3,000 likes if you made it to this part of the video. Um, spam up uh, dunk contest in the chat for the next video. Appreciate y'all so much, man. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, turn on noties. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.